The new Oculus Quest 2 has been around for over a month now. I've played around with this powerful headset and personally it is time to start developing games for it. The Unreal Engine is such a top class game engine and I will be using the latest version to create and deploy a simple game into the Oculus Quest 2 headset. The process is straightforward and only requires 5 simple steps. We start by downloading Android Studio and once we have downloaded and installed Android Studio, we go ahead and download Epic Installer to install the latest version of Unreal Engine. The third step is to configure Unreal Engine for all the Android features needed for us to deploy our game into the Oculus Quest 2 headset. In the next step, we create an Oculus organization profile and install the new Oculus Developer Hub. Lastly, we create our game in Unreal Engine and deploy to the Oculus Quest 2 headset. Ideally, by now you would have downloaded the Oculus app from the App Store and signed in with your Facebook account to connect your Oculus Quest 2 headset. Just remember to switch on the developer mode to settings Tap on the drop down to the right side of the details section. Tap on more settings. Tap on developer mode and switch it on. I'd like to also mention that all the links I used in this video can be found in the description section. And unless you would like for me to wait for you to subscribe to my channel for more content, I'm just going to dive straight into the five simple steps. Let us go on the internet and type in developer.android.com. At the top left, let's click on Android Studio and download Android Studio. Open up the downloaded file and follow the installation process by clicking on Next. Just keep clicking on that Next button until you see the option to install Android Studio. Click on Install and give it a bit of time. Once the installation process is complete, click on Next and then Finish. As far as import Android Studio settings is concerned, I just click on OK. Android Studio loads up and I decide not to send user statistics. It is up to you. I click on Next and select the custom option. I select my preferred theme. I click on Next and deselect Android Virtual Device and then click on Finish to download and install all the relevant components. The process may take a bit of time, but once it is done, just click on finish and close Android Studio. That brings us to the end of the first step, now let's move to the second step. I go back on the internet and type in unrealengine.com, at the top right corner, click on download and scroll down to download the Epic Installer. Open up the downloaded file and follow the prompt to install accordingly. Once this is done, sign into your account and we're good to go. I decided to install the 4.26.0 preview version of Unreal Engine. Under the library tab, click on the plus button to select the version and follow the installation prompts. I would like to say this process takes some time. I'm just going to go grab some food and come back to this when it's done. Once the installation process is complete, you can go ahead and close Epic Games for now. We will come back to this later. That brings us to the end of the second step. Let's move to the third step. Open up File Explorer, navigate into the C drive, open Program Files, open the Epic Games folder, open the Unreal Engine 4.26 folder, open the Engine folder, open the Extras folder, open the Android folder and double click on the file called Setup Android. This would download and install all the required components for us to build for the Oculus Quest 2 headset. Type Y from your keyboard and press Enter. This brings us to the end of the third step. Now let's move to the next one. I go back on the internet and type in developer.oculus.com. I would go ahead and sign in with my Facebook account. And just to also mention that it is impossible to deploy to the new Oculus Quest 2 headset without a Facebook account. So therefore, if you do not have a Facebook account, you need to create one and sign in with it. Once you're signed in, to the left hand side of the screen, click on Manage. Go ahead and create a new organization. Give it a name and confirm you understand the terms of service. Then click on Submit. I click on Agree, then Submit. 
and that's it. Your organization profile has been created. Now let's download the developer hub from the developer.oculus.com website. Click on learn more. Agree to the terms of license and click on download. Open up the zip folder and extract the content to run the setup file. Click on install. And once installation is done, just click on finish. Now log in with your Facebook account and on the left side of the screen, click on my device and at this point connect your Oculus Quest 2 headset to your computer and follow the prompts to allow USB debugging. Once this is done, we're good to go. This brings us to the end of the fourth step. Now let's move to the last one. Search for Unreal Engine on your computer and open the Epic Games Launcher. If you get this prompt, just click on Fix Now. That's fine. At the top right corner of the page, click on Launch to open Unreal Engine Editor. Let's select Games, Virtual Reality. We leave the Blueprint option the way it is. For the performance characteristics, let us select Scalable 3D or 2D. For the target platform, let's select Mobile or Tablet. And let's select No Startup Content. Lastly, give your project a name and click on Create Project. The creation process may take some time, but it is fine. Just give you some time to load up. You see where it says Compiling Shaders? As a matter of preference, I just wait till this finishes compiling before moving forward. Once that is done, click on the folder icon and select the content folder to make this section a bit more tidy. Double click on Virtual Reality BP folder, open the Maps folder, open the Motion Controller map, delete the Startup map and the HMD Locomotion map. And rename the Motion Controller map to whatever you like. At the top left corner, click on Edit and select the Plugins option. On the left side, scroll down to the bottom of the list and select Virtual Reality. Make sure the Oculus VR plugin is enabled. Close the Plugins tab at the top. Click on Edit and select the Project Settings option. Click on Maps and Mode. And make sure the Editor Startup points to the map you previously renamed. Click on the Supported Platforms option and make sure Android is enabled. I also enabled Windows 32-bit option as well. Under the Engine section, click on Impute and make sure the default touch interface is set to None. Scroll down to the Platform section and select Android. Under the APK packaging, click on Configure Now. For the Android package, I just put the name of my game, which is Oxford and add the dot .project to it. Make sure to put the dot .project because it is important. The minimum SDK version is 23. The target SDK version is 25. Navigate down and make sure the option for full screen immersive on KitKat and above devices is enabled. If you scroll down to the advanced APK packaging section under the package for Oculus mobile devices, Click on the plus icon and select both Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. Navigate to the left side and scroll back up to the engine section. Select rendering and change the mobile MSAA value to 4 times MSAA. Scroll down towards the bottom of the page and under VR, make sure the mobile HDR option is enabled. Close project settings and launch your game by using the launch button at the top right corner. Make sure to click on the drop down and select your Oculus Quest 2 headset for deployment. If your Oculus Quest 2 headset does not show up in the drop down, make sure it is connected to your computer. You can use the Oculus Hub application to confirm your headset is connected. If it says connected and active, then it is indeed connected and active. Allow some time for deployment to complete. Put on your headset and here we go. Your game is there. You can quit the game by pressing the Oculus button on your controller. And if you want to access the game at a later time on your headset, just follow my little guide. From your welcome screen, select the app button, select the drop down and scroll down to where it says unknown sources. 
In there, you would find all the games that you have deployed. That brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe for more virtual reality training videos. See you soon.